Hello again, everybody. Gary Furman and Matt Shodell here. And today we are talking about which player for the Miami Hurricanes could turn out to be the biggest surprise on offense. And we have decided that we think that that player is transfer receiver Tyler Harrell. And let me tell you why. Okay, you're going to look at his statistical lines, okay? And you are not going to be overly impressed okay last year at alabama in 33 reps harrell had two catches for 18 yards and that's because he missed the first half of the year and then by the time he came back he wasn't able to work his way into very much playing time but to dig deeper into why matt and i think that tyler harrell will be the most successful player on offense this year i think you got to look back to his prior season at Louisville, which is where he started to emerge and was the reason why Alabama went out and got him in the first place. Uh, in that season, he had 18 catches for 523 yards. Yes, that is 29.1 yards per catch. Okay, that is astronomical. I don't need to tell you guys that. But even more significantly, when Louisville had their pro day, Tyler Harrell ran a 4.24 40-yard dash, okay? This guy might be the fastest guy in college football, okay? Uh, there might be guys that claim that they can run faster than a verified 4.24. I want to see it if they're claiming that because that is moving, okay? And when Miami took a look at Harrell in the transfer portal this year, it was with the idea that, they do not have a guy that can stretch the field the way that Tyler Harrell can. And that opens up all the lanes for Shannon Dawson's offensive scheme. Uh, so it was, it was a no brainer to go pick up Harrell. Okay. But that's not why we think that he can be the surprise player on offense. It's not just that he can run fast. Yes, they are going to use him to spread the field. But here's where most of the offseason efforts have been going with Tyler Harrell. They are trying to teach him to be a complete receiver and a better route runner. And it's one thing to say, hey, I'm fast. I can run 4-2 and take off up the sideline. Okay, that's great. Except teams are going to be sitting and waiting for that. Okay, they're trying to teach him to maybe run his routes, say, 4-4, four, 4-5, four, four, knowing that you got that second gear in your back pocket after you make the catch. So I think we're going to see Tyler Harrell be way more than a one-trick pony this year, Matt Shodell. And uh, I think that's why you and I agree that he could become a big part of this Miami offense in more ways than one and could shape up as the surprise player on offense this year. Well, I mean, that's a genius idea, telling a fast guy to go slow. I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't think of that. That's well, you don't you're, think that you're you genius. don't think all best receivers who are really fast run their routes at top speed all the time. Do you? I mean, you, you did, unlike you're unlike what you usually you're not, unlike, running, you're not running crossing routes at four two where you got to make cuts. I'm sorry. Unlike unlike what you usually do, you actually took the words out of my mouth. Where his issue has been uh, that he just he can run straight up the field, which is great, you know, uh, but he's not a complete receiver, which is a, a slight problem. You also don't want to be on this list to be the season's biggest surprise because it means you've done nothing and people will be shocked if you do well, surprised if you do well, you know? So it's not a great list to be on, but uh, but we both do agree that he belongs on this list. Sorry, Tyler, that's where you belong. Uh, you know, it, it's sort of just weird to me. Like he was hand-timed at 419 at the Louisville Pro Day. He thought about going to the NFL after, Alabama, after the season at Alabama, even though he barely played. I mean, there's just some strange things that he's done in his career. I mean, who even thinks about going to the NFL when you've done nothing? Well, you've done anything, right? Well, but, but you know what? It goes to the mindset he has, which is just, I'm faster than everybody else. Maybe he doesn't work hard enough. Like, why? If you're running a 419, why hasn't it shown up? Why wasn't he a starter until two years ago at Louisville? You know, why, when he got healthy at Alabama, do they still not play him at all? I mean, I don't know. You know, we'll find out when he gets here. I haven't heard anything about it. I don't know if it's a work ethic issue. I don't know if it's a route running issue. I don't know if it's a hands issue. Well, the only thing we know right now is he can beat Gary Furman. He can beat Gary Furman in a foot race. 
Uh, Gary would go 10 yards and this guy would be the end zone. You know, that's about all we know right now. So I'm really interested to see and see what we hear come fall practice about Tyler and if he really is that great. Like if everything about him is great or if it's just a one one horse, one trick pony. Is that the word? One horse. It can't be a one horse pony. One, a one trick pony. Or if he really can become a complete receiver, which is what Miami actually needs. All right. So like, let's just look a little bit deeper. And all we really have to look at is the 2021 season that Harold play played at Louisville. And uh, I mean, he graded out with pro football focus at 70.4 that year. 70 is considered a good grade. He, he had a 70.9 receiving grade. He caught 18 of his 36 targets that year. Uh, they put him in the slot for 11 of his reps. Most of the time, he was outside. Uh, of his 523 yards receiving, 176 came after the catch, and that included a 92-yarder against Virginia. Uh, as a freshman, he only caught two passes. He red, then he red shirts in 2019 and only played nine reps in 2020. So like Matt said, like there isn't much here. And that's why if he has any kind of season at all in 2023 here at Miami, that would naturally make him the surprise guy on offense. So uh, I think everybody, Matt, to sum it all up, needs to just keep their fingers crossed, hope that we are right, and that Tyler Harrell is the surprise player on offense. Yeah, I mean, I look, and as you look through his, some of his 2021 numbers, I mean, I'm just calling them up here, but... Um... You know, like you said, he had, he, had, he had three drops and he caught half of his targets. So, you know, I, one pass thrown in his direction was intercepted. Um, you know, certainly, you know, 13 of his 18 catches re resulted in first down. I mean, he's a guy who is a downfield threat. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but again, is he that all around receiver? I mean, I'm, I'm looking at his receiving depth right now. Let's see what, what that tells us. Um, so his receiving his receiving grade on passes of 20 or more yards in 2021 his his receiving grade was 95.7 which is has to be one of the best in the country. And then you go down to the short and behind the line and you're you're looking at 77 and 60%. Uh his 20 plus yard targets in 2021 the year he had the great year, he had 20 targets that were all just where he's just running down the field and they throwing the ball. Uh he had six medium targets, nine basically at the line of scrimmage, 10 basically at the line of scrimmage targets. So, I mean, his role was just run, you know, you know, when you're playing, uh, you know, in high school with your friends and you go in the huddle with your buddies and they're like, just run down the field. You know, that's what he did. He just ran down the field. Uh, so again, you know, you, you don't love to see that 20 targets were just deep routes. Like that's all he's running is deep routes and deep routes and deep routes. You want him to do a lot more than that and, and be and be more than that. Uh, he's great at running those deep routes, but again, uh, this guy, he has to be an all-purpose back for this Miami team. You, you can't just have a guy that's that's only able to do one thing. You need a guy who can do everything. Uh, it's super important. All right, come on, Tyler Harrell, come through. Make Matt and I look like geniuses this year, uh, especially in Matt's case. He would love that. Um, if you like this show, like this channel, hit your subscribe button, hit your like button. It helps us with the algorithms at YouTube and growing our audience. And more so than anything, everybody, uh, we want everybody to join us this year at kingsport.com. Please become a subscriber. Your subscriptions allow us to do what we do every single day to enhance your fan experience. So for Matt Shodell, I'm Gary Furman. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you next time, everybody.